What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are back in our recreation of Nashville International. We added a medium runway. We've got just still kind of a grass line. Not going to do anything with that just yet because eventually the medium runway is going to run east-west. Well, left-right currently. Do I have a fence down here? I do have a fence down here. It's not going up, but uh, we'll eventually get there. Taking a look at the current state of the concourse, we still have vending machines in here. People should be happy about that, and a bunch of people are still shopping at the Quick Stop. Over a thousand in a day. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, 7-Eleven's doing okay, and so is Swift Veg. Making some money. Are you not turned on? You are. Why are you... Why is there no sink? Did somebody steal the sink? Why? What is going on? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, Hassan. I, I need to put a sink there. I don't, I don't know what happened to that sink, but okay. We'll add a sink. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and not out gallivanting around stealing sinks. Uh, today, I kind of want to deal with security and possibly moving some of the check-in issues upstairs. Because, holy cow, only four people checked in on that flight. Okay, well, we will deal with that. So, hopping up to the second floor. Security sits right here. But I'm going to have to bump this out a little bit more. And security comes in, goes through, and down and out like the exit for security actually comes out here. Uh, basically, it is centered right about here. And then in the middle here are a few check-ins. Looks like for United, Contour, and JetBlue. And it is in line here. There are a bunch of smaller airlines that have check-ins on the diagonal that... Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. But I kind of want to deal with security and get that in place. But the concourse terminal area is going to be this wide, but we need to bump this out a little bit more. And I'm taking a look, and, it, and this might be a little close, but we're going to go with it as it is. If not, there is going to come a day that I do a lot of moving in between episodes, but we will get to that if we need to. I'm going to take this stretch out, and we're going to change the way traffic flows here. So let's get some asphalt public road. We're going to take this down. We're going to take this over. And we're going to take this up. You know what? We're going to get rid of the subway as well. Because we're going to move a lot of the drop-off area down a little bit. Uh, we'll do one there. There. We'll do a taxi stop. Way down here. And I guess we'll drop in the subway. That'll work. Would you guys take that? Oh no, I need to get rid of that sidewalk as well. Back and go. We'll do a couple car drop-offs here. That's that one. One and two. In fact, I think we're going to do few on the other side as well. We'll put a crosswalk in here so people can get over because I'm sure people uh, would appreciate that. Don't need that large one. Uh, we'll do one there. We'll do one there. We'll do one there. Not that I have anything up there. Um, give me a public road. We're going to take the road over there. Tell you what, here. 
I'll give you guys a little piece of sidewalk. That way you guys can get back to where you're getting picked up at. Apparently you guys are going to lose your mind. I'm going to take, bump it out to about this point. You can all go. You can go. Everybody gone? Look like it. it's dark right here. I know we just added the sidewalk and we're going to take it out. And we're going to replace it with some terminal foundation. Jump this way. I'm going to start here, because I think this is going to be where we run security to. Mm, rethinking things. Hold on. Um, I want to fill this in. This is how wide we were going to make it. What is that? Nine? Nine. Come upstairs, and we're going to fill in this area as well. I'm doing this because I'm kind of basing this on where the exit's going to end up. Let's go ahead and zone this as a secure zone. In fact, we'll just Take this all the way up here for now. And you're going to need to be in place as well. Uh, let's you take all that out. So there are a couple shops on this diagonal. And then there are a couple bathrooms. Uh, looks like a couple more shops that kind of angle down. It's kind of like a, I don't know, half circle maybe. And then there is an exit right over here so if we come in and pretty much in alignment with this wall and I don't want to put this in right now because <laughs> I know as soon as I put it in things are going to go sideways on me here but we're going to go ahead and add because I need to add a stairs or sidewalk or something for the time being. Problem is, this is all a secure area down here. Um, yeah, this is this is going to be a good time. Tell you what, we're going to undo that. We're going to undo this. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to bump this out here. You know what? Let me take out this wall. Don't honestly know how far I want to bump this out to. So, let's come in here. I want to de-zone this. So the wall for security runs here. So all this is secure. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. I need to get some stairs in here. Just temporarily. That's almost part of the problem. Uh, 
gonna do that. That for now. Because for some reason people want to leave. I mean, you got this lovely little airport. Okay. Wall doesn't need to exist, but come upstairs. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Take out the center wall, don't need that right now. Don't need floodlights either, but thanks. Um do that for a second. I'm gonna go with the large ones. And we're gonna come up. In fact, I'm gonna come all the way up. Just so we can get these in place. I think three is going to be the number. Which means we're going to need to add a little bit more foundation down here. Now there is a wall once you go through security. Basically a wall here little area after it so you can put on your shoes and whatnot we'll take it out to about here it basically comes down and it looks like it squeezes you into a very tiny hallway something maybe to here there we go so that's going to be the permanent security area We've got security guards up here. We don't have any way to actually get up there, but that's okay. That's uh, that seems like kind of an irrelevant uh, issue. I mean, why would you need to actually get to security? I mean, we've got people trying to board planes or. Well, that takes care of this area. I suppose I could add a queue. In retrospect, probably should have done that before we, uh... Just, uh, added them all in. So that takes care of that. Let's add a little bit more foundation up here. Go. Well, I suppose security can just bounce between uh, secure and unsecure areas. I guess that's, that's something that can happen. Got our exit over here. And we're uh, continuing on here. Let's okay. Trying to comprehend how things are going here. Um, we're gonna do something like this, I think. There's a wall. 
actually comes out a little bit of an... We're going to do that. We're going to do wall here. Wall here. Go ahead and make this secure. And I do not actually have a picture pulled up of this, but I will go back and tweak this as I need to. Take these two sections out. If there's a door or just kind of a pathway through, I'll readjust it. I just want to get the bathroom itself in place. Got a men's and women's restroom here. And there we go. So that's going to be a permanent thing. After that, we have a couple shops that sit basically in this section. And then the shops over here. We're going to go with that for right now. Let's bounce back downstairs. We'll go ahead and finish off adding in here and here. Get rid of that wall. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this wall as well. So you guys are still exiting, that's fine. And while you guys are doing that, I want to take a quick look. In case you were wondering, I did track down where the nearest police and fire stations are. We will be able to add those in in due time. But I haven't been able to necessarily find a clean picture of the terminal check-in areas over here that we're about to add in. United and JetBlue does look like it does have some automation to it. So we can add that in as we get so i'm gonna do desks we're gonna grab medium boarding desk sit right about here we're gonna do one two Three, four, and five. Six. So contour, which we're just going to leave as a one of the generic airlines. That's going to be down here. We're going to go with two jet blue. And then a three united. Again, these are going to have self-checks, and again, I should have put the queue in before I uh, went through and added those. I will manually add in the queue. The self-check-in, it looks like they're down here. 
they're it looks like they're pushed out a little bit. And I'm gonna do a little bit of terminal foundation here. I'm gonna do that and that. Um take that back. Yeah, we'll start with that. Because there is a door. That lives over here. Right there. It leads to the road for departures. Now, the problem is the bus and taxi want to go that direction and I knew I should have went ahead and added a one-way system cute cute everyone anyways as I was saying there's a door up here that takes you to the uh, departure road that runs along here but obviously this is the second floor, so we can't get a road around here. So we might have to take stairs down to this road here. That's probably going to be the easiest way to get there. Um, probably need to do that now, in fact. So in order to get stairs, we're going to have to add... Still a little bit more terminal. Look at these small stairs. But we do not add that. So this is going to be one of those spots that I have to do a little bit of, uh, take a little bit of liberty with just to make uh, the in-game actually work. And hopefully you understand. Um, do -do. Adding roads to the second floor would be a nice feature, but you can't go up. Are we not underneath the terminal? No, not in place yet. We're gonna add stairs right there. Um Yes, I technically don't need this one. Or this one. I'm gonna grab some sidewalk. Ah. We get a bus stop right there, right now. Just realized all these desks are back. Good times, everybody. So we're going to take out that desk. We're going to add in this desk. And you know what we'll be able to do? We'll be able to add the, uh, the queue that's going to go with it. And in a quick minute, I imagine that we're going to be able to add baggage in the very near future. You're going there. 
you guys can go. Yeah, I've got a bus stop and not con not connected because again, this road's gonna go diagonal. Maybe I'm gonna have to play around with it just to see how that's going to necessarily operate. Okay, let's get a queue in before we get copy and paste. So small queue, copy. One, two, and three. You guys are still dealing with flights. That's fine. Basically, there's a wall that's going to be about, about here. And then baggage is going to be all behind the scenes here and down here. But right now using this as a kind of throughput to get people in. But we've got some check-in desks. You're delayed. You're delayed. That's not the button. There we go. People are making it through security. We are getting a bunch of people checked in except for this one. These flights are struggling a little bit. Can't uh, land because the previous flight's there. So while we're waiting on those to kind of clear out, let's grab a little high speed conveyor belt here. Here. We'll take those out. We'll add in another two. And I think this is going to be a good place to end. But we're slowly getting all the check-in out from here. And up to its permanent home up here. We've got a couple bathrooms set to go. And we've got people checking in, getting ready to board on Concourse A. And a few people waiting on Concourse B. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here and look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a spectacular day. Bye.